kumuga na ilu kwe kusangi mechifeche nkula kula na eche nchuka chuka ere chila gobu kugobu echitalo obwayo lesibwa mkuzimba obu ye yobu mchindo guwa wagulo ngabiyo na bigendele duwa mokto sa masanyala za malunche e bibiroli ya masanyala zeri ya kaluma kabonera akala gobu malirivu kwe guanga uganda okufuna obu ituaze mubie mfuna E bibiroli ya masanyalaze ya kaluma, ilifurumi ya masanyalaze agawe sogo njiwa mega watsilukagea. Lisa ngibwa kumuga nailu mu districti ya kiri andongo. Nga Uganda ya kula bulie chisogo kaa, okumalawe chiziwe chebulari ya masanyalaze. No kuangiro kugabu nyesambi tunduki ya guwangi ya vitalibi mo. Nge guwangia, tulino kubeda nesiboko ya masanyalaze, yomu lembe. As we drive universal access to 100%, access to clean energy the need for power generation continues to remain critical. Vision 2040, we are supposed to have 52,000 megawatts. We, we are currently with the commissioning of Karuma at about 2,000 megawatts. And when you look at the demand, industrial development in this country, certainly will need to increase generation capacity. If we were to achieve the third principle of the NRM, of social economic transformation, we have to invest in power generation, transmission and distribution. People must get access to power, not only just power, but reliable power and affordable power. E bibiroli ya masanyala ziri ya karuma, liya zimbi wa mungiri echa sinzo kuberi yechi kuguo. Nebi zimbi subwebi yomu tindo dala, nechi gende liruwa, echi okuli sobo so gumira mani gobu tondea. Mumu wako gwalu kumurinda chenda mukagea. Kampuni ya nowhere, e kula mbiya masanyala zea, gene iti wano park, ya funo lukso uinja ulo, okula kula nye project eno. Era mumu wako gwaku mibiri mwesa tuo, okuno nyeleza kungeri yokula mu project eno, kwa kulibuwa, gebi yava mkuno nyeleza kuna. No, biyala gante, karuma yali ya kufurumi ya masanyalaze, agawe sogo njibwa megawatts, etsuweli ya dalibi kumbibiri. Wabula ulufanyuma, mumaka guwa kumbibiri munana, kampuni ya nowe ya no park, ya sara wakufa mprojekteno. Mumako kwa kumi bili kumi nebili ya okunonye lezo kulala kwa kulibuwa Ela kuno kwa chusi za dala inte kateka yone ya soka This was a bid to increase the head so that we could get uh, a higher installed uh, capacity From the same location using the same storage uh, or volume of water but with uh, an increased head Project yeno ibaliru wa mwaka umbika dola kamo nobu kaderu sanvo Evu jiriru wa banka ya China ya Exim San Jose is a uh, international uh, construction companies and uh, he's a manager, manager of his for the hundred power project because we have a lot of infrastructure and the solar uh, project. This is a very huge companies. We started the building in Uganda 2009 for the Pujakari the project. That time we are using the construction uh, of the electrical and mechanical works. Nge nakuzo umwezi kumina bilia, umwezo guamu wakanya, umwako guamu kumibili kumine sato. President Yui Kakuta Mseven, ya tongo za project eno, ere mirimo jio kuzimbe bibirorino, yata nika umwezi guante nvo. Project eno yomu lembea, ya tegi kibwa mungiri yobu e gendereza, ngeredi kevi tundu mukage, vienki zinyo, echitundu echisoka, cheche ukuli dam, echitundu echiingiza masanyalaze, echifuwa kunganiza masanyalaze. Empuku ya transforma, etisenge chukuba amaze, evi kondo vya plesa, evi kondo vya waya, neme kutuwe vili ya ejifurumi amaze. E bibirolino, ilari ya zimbi wake mili yangu muinda, ejo kuyingisa amaze. The dams are meant to keep a certain level of water. So this spillway gate, in essence, control these levels. And so the nine of them are, are currently operational. And on the extreme uh, right of the river, we have a fish ladder. Because during the studies which are done, it was discovered that there's some migratory fish which breed and spawn upstream. So when you put a barrier, you'll be affecting them. So you have to make a provision where they can be able to move upstream. So the fish ladder mimics the normal flow of the river without a dam wall. So the fish can feel it's the real river. They swim upstream and gun spawn.
This is to allow a minimum of 100 cubic meters per second of water all the time uh, because we don't want to completely stop the river from flowing. We have to keep a wet bed at all times. Okutuka munda we bibiroli neri ya masanyirazia chikweta giso kufuga ngo yita mpukwe ya kolipo buwansi Oluva ni maru kwa soru wazi Mpukwe no ilikuwa ugazi wa mita kuminabili Right now we are a hundred meters underground from the surface And uh, this is where the powerhouse is situated Omuli yangu guyingisa amazi ya buwe guguru wa buwa amazi gafurumisibuwa Okuwa motele kero buwe gato nega walirisibuwa Okuita mchume chichi wa penstock Nga china chiga tambusa Okugatu samo tabines Tabines zi no mukagia zate kipa mchifochimo Nga buliemo ya webu omuli yangu guyingisa amazi Ogwe tongo de Okuvira dala wa guru okubu wanfu wa mita nkagia Ne mita nsambu isingogu nene Buli tabine yeta gubu njigu wa mazi Obweli la dala liita emituwalu kumina munana mwinkumi bilie Buli sekonda okusobola kutambula If we had gone out door switch gear The kukwat kwa the single transmission outside the layer It could not fit here So they introduced this technology This technology minimizes the space Okuwa ku GIS ama senyalaza agawe zogu njigu wa volts vina Gasi ndikiwa mula ini bilia, okusabu soga chusa, okufa kula ini emo, okuda kula ini endala, singala ini emo, ibele vudeka masanyalaze. Oru ni gagabibuwa, ngagai tamula ini za masanyalaze, omuli la ini zifurumia, ngazino ziri bilia, esoka ni yoku bilia. Ngazole kere chifoche kunganzo chigwangie kawanda mukampala, elira substation, nene bi substation. We are now able to serve areas of gulu better. Nowadays the power is reliable. At one point it was quite unreliable in the greater northern Uganda. And we will continue generating more power so that we have 100% of the population of Uganda access. Right now we are at 60%. Where 22% are on the national grid and 38% is on mini grids, other sources. So we want at least by 2030 to have... 100% access to power. Currently, the amount of kerosene which we are importing and using is going down because everybody is moving into clean energy. We want to move those who are cooking using firewood, using charcoal. Let them come to use electricity for cooking. We want to focus on the children. I don't want any child Actually, to be reading using a card. O kumaliriza bibiroli ya masanyalaze kaluma. Chikuru nyo, murugendo wa Uganda kwe tongula mbia masanyalaze. Ne mkula akula ni yoru berira. Project eno, ya mega watsoru kagia. Tegenda kwa Uganda masanyalaze choka. Wabule genda kula nge chitundu tundu ya chikuru. Mkusitu lebi ya masanyalaze. Muma wanga gali mfanjuwa kwa Afrika. Tanzania, Rwanda. And we are working on transmission lines South Sudan. But also to the DRC Congo. Uh, therefore, it will be very important that we continue to grow our capacity so that we are trading efficiently with our neighbors and supporting them. Uh, when you look at a country like South Sudan, they are currently running generators, diesel generators, very expensive power from fossil fuels. So aligning with the green movement, uh, aspects of climate change, when we enter this power trade, we are also offsetting enormous carbon emissions, not only in Uganda, but also in our neighboring countries. Uganda, yete geso kufuko mutuwa mkulu, mkufuru nyema senyala ze, agata kusabu tonde. The vehicles, the buses are going to move into electric buses. We are going to have, even the train is going to be electric. So that means we need to increase the generation of power, the amount of power which we are producing. Okuzimbi wa kwe bibi dolino, ule sewe mikisaje business, juwe lida dala, no kulongo sebi ntwebi yankizo, okwe sike misubo ulambu wa banto, ngele sila, lite kebwe nyoku biyo ulamu, nili njigirisa. The image of Karuma was not as normal now. Karuma was some few others from that time, but right now, Anyone can just come and be surprised how Karuma developed. From the village, change to the town council because 
the influence of the people were increased. We foresee that Karuma is going to see a boom in industrialization arising from that government policy of direct supply of power from the generator to the end user and therefore an incentive to set up industrial parks close to the power plants. At one point, this project was employing over 10,000 local staff. So it's something that we emphasize to the service providers that we should make a difference within the community and one of them is to make sure that we give them jobs. We've gained skills in design reviews, in contract management. We are now in a better position and more confident if we got another big project of this size to, to work on it. From the experience I've gained from here, I can run my own IT firm because I've really interconnected the entire project, both underground and then on surface. The standard of living was rudimentary, and you'll be surprised what the eight or so years have done to this place. That speaks to the impact of the project. But critically, on the side of the community development action program that we implemented alongside the Uganda Electricity Generation Company, we've been able to set up schools, health centers, and those are transforming lives. We are seeing more children benefiting from the schools that we set up, but also better health care. The Karuma Hydropower Project leaves a modern, fully equipped health center, D. Chwinyi General Hospital. It is the only health center three in Kamdine sub County. Before this place was established, the community of this area, they used to move to those health center tools, and others were even unable to move, so they could rely on the small drug shops around this area. I came here and met the nurse. She worked on me so fast and I also gave birth quickly. The reception was very good and I am still being taken care of very well. I gave birth to a baby girl and I am so happy. In Antineto, we managed to get 103 mothers that attended Antineto from here. We managed to admit 14 mothers and out of 14, the 11 delivered normally without any problem, and we managed to get 12 babies because one mother gave birth to twins. Enteka teka zoku bunisama sanyala za mkuchu sembele za bantu. Mbufunza chiwari isa CSR as quality project ya masanyala za kaluma. Richard Opito ya mkulu wa somori ya maji primary school. Unajukila bulu njia embele ya somori no. Nga project ya kaluma tena yingila ukuma kwa tila kwa. Had very whole structures. Children were sitting down on the floor. But as a result of the intervention, they constructed for us very decent classrooms, well equipped with a desk and other learning materials. When we were still in the other classroom, there were no good lights, but now we have good electricity that we can learn at night, revise our books, and that one is going to improve on our performance. Echidala, katia somelo lino lifu nye na mazama yonjo. Nga china chonge doktere zogula mbuwa baize. Nebio guyonjo vio nokutuwa liza wamo. Okulo ngose somelo lino ila kuongede kumuindu guwa baize. Abali ya yunira. Kubaka tinaba zade. Bali lina mugu isige. Kusomelo lia prorong primary school. Mo district ya noya. Na yon teka teka. Iyoko la kunkula kuna na yabanto. Mo project ya kaluma. Omote ndero guwa soka. Genu ya lete nkula kula ni ya man. the construction of this classroom block, we were not having enough light to read because of darkness. This make us not to perform well in our school here. We were not having also the teacher's quarter. Our teacher was, was using grass touch hats to live in. That also give our teacher more courage. They constructed two classroom blocks the head teacher's office, four staff houses, and four VIP latrines with improved facilities. Initially, we were having actually grass houses, 
And would imagine a teacher living that actually such accommodation. When it is raining and then your room is leaking, how do you feel? Even your materials that you have to use in your lesson, you cannot even prepare. So now we are very grateful to Uganda Electricity Generation Company Limited. Nine kilometers from Karuma towards Kampala is Dima Primary School, which has also benefited from the project. Being on the highway, it shines with beauty in UEGCL brand colors. The school was totally in a very bad state. The classrooms, very old. The teachers' houses, only grass-searched houses. Their teachers were even fearing to stay in them. And most teachers would come from very far, renting. And late coming was the issue. The station wasn't good. We are very glad. ECGL came in and gave us four classrooms, staff room and an office. I didn't have an office. There was an old structure classroom which was as an, used as an office. One time the DO told me, won't you die here in the school in this office? I said, what can I do? This way. So he told me, sit under the tree. I said, no, God will one day bring. Okufuru mye masanyalazea agali kubeye ya wansea. Ye mku nkola nebi gendura biya government biya nkula akulana. Electricity has the highest impact in reducing poverty. So that speaks to the significance of this project. The government's commitment to ensure socio-economic transformation of the country, but also critically the commitment we've made in the National Development Plan 3 to ensure clean energy access. This Karuma power will posit positively affect our tariff. But our target as government is to supply the industrial parks first at 5 US cents per kilowatt hour. Then we will trickle down to the community and every January I will be announcing the tariff for the year. O kumaririza bibiro lya masanyalaze lya Karuma chintu chikuru nnyo mu rugendo rwa Uganda olwo kwetongola mbiya masanyalaze ne nkula kulani yoruberira mu kino government yagenderera okuchusa Uganda okuva mu mbera yo bwavo ne sente ntono okutoka ku mutendera gwa kuvuganya ne simbye ziwirira ddala